That didn't sound good. Oh, man. How you doing, Duff here? You're um, on the back of my Tacoma bed right now because you're on a different se whoa. You're on a different selfie stick than you're normally on. What the heck? I accidentally turned on my wheel. Which is the King Song 18L. Look how far away you are. I actually have you on my old five foot selfie stick. I forgot I had this. The other selfie stick I had is shorter, but it has like an integrated tripod. So uh, that's why I use that a lot. But I thought it might be cool to uh, use this far away perspective today. Because even though I have you far away, because of my uh, Rode Wireless Go mic, you can still hear me just fine. So we'll see how it works out. All right. So I just picked up my second Dunkin' Donuts coffee of the day. Yes, Dunkin' Donuts is still open down here, although it is drive through only or pickup only. You can't sit in the dining room, which is kind of standard fare nowadays. And uh, I just felt the need to get out and ride. You know, there's, uh, the, uh, the levels of insanity uh, in the world right now are increasing daily. Panic has taken hold. And um, if you know me, I don't react well to panicking people. It's just not my style. So as far as the personal um, situation here in Southwest Florida, I think last time I talked to you guys was when I did the live stream the other day. Uh, since then, I did mention that they were planning to close work and they did do that. They closed work as of Friday, but they only closed it to the public. So uh, em all employees still reported on Friday, and, and I believe that is going to be the status quo for the foreseeable future. Officially, the closing is until April 3rd, uh, where at, at that point we are supposed to reevaluate, and uh, we will either reopen or we will close for a longer period of time. And right now, my uh, money is on the ladder. All right, I'm at the... Um, the Logan Boulevard extension area again. We're gonna be riding that. You know, the thing that I rode, whoa, soft sand. Whoa. The thing that I rode with the uh, MSX a few weeks ago. We're now gonna be doing it on the Kingsong 18XL. 2200 watt hour. And no, uh, we're not going for any speed records. We are just trying to decompress. Definitely need to decompress gather my thoughts uh, and um, you know <laughs> oh, this is not going to be a fun period of time guys and um, the scary thing is we are only in the beginning stages of it seriously it's not going to be fun at all whoa and with a stick this long it just wants to drag on the ground so anyways what I was saying was uh you know, work is now closed to the public. They have closed the beaches. Um, I guess uh, people finally got sick of seeing the spring breakers uh, totally ignoring the social distancing concept. So the beaches in Collier and Lee County have been closed to the public. Um, yesterday I, at lunch, instead of working out, I had my one wheel pint with me and I just rode around at lunch, rode about eight miles at lunch. And um, one thing that is not closed here are golf courses. And there's a small golf course around where I work. And when I rode in there, there's a whole bunch of old people playing golf. And uh, I, I, they were not uh, exercising social distancing either. So, but yeah, things, things uh, are continuing to progress and not in a good way. I like having the, um, the longer pole here, it's nice. Uh, logistically, it's a little bit more um, troublesome. When you have it fully extended, there's a decent amount of weight hanging off the end. But I think this is a good way to mix stuff in, you know, mix, mix in uh, perspective so you're not always seeing the same thing. Kind of fun. Don't see a lot of people out right now. 
the, uh, this morning, I did um, go out, dropped off some mail. Oh, here comes someone on a bike, and there's no room on this sidewalk, so we're going to move over. <clears throat> yeah, this sidewalk, I don't know if you can tell, but you got these freaking trees that are, that are um, extending over the sidewalk, so it doesn't make for a good situation when you have more than one person on the road. And there's some rollerbladers, cool. There are definitely people still out. Um, this morning, like I said, I went out, I had to drop off a stand at the post office, grab some coffee this morning, and also I went to Home Depot. I need to cross over to the other side there. The path over there is better. Went to Home Depot. Home Depot was still busy. Uh, I saw a couple people with masks, but uh, most did not. I had my, my buff with you know, to, to pull up over my nose, but um, I, I don't have a, a full-fledged mask, but it's better than nothing. Man, the um, 18XL just rides like butter, man. It, it feels so nice, so smooth. You know, even more, it always felt that way, but even more so now with the 2200 watt motor that I installed. And it's silent. I mean, if you are not a speed demon or an extreme hill climber, this is really a sweet wheel for you. And not that expensive either. Classic good looks. Very predictable handling. Now, whereas when you get on the King Song 16X, uh, you can just ask Dan. It's kind of like a what the hell's going on for a little bit. Although you do quickly adjust to it. Um, the King Song 18XL has a very uh, linear and familiar feel to it. Has anyone else tried to do anything with the stock market with, uh, with its collapse, try to get in there and snag some stuff at a low number? Um, I, I played around very, very minimally. I did grab a couple shares of IBM, which uh, dropped down below 100 for the first time in quite a while. It's a good dividend stock. And uh, my buddy Jeremy works there, so he encouraged me to do so. So I took him up on it. And um, I also grabbed a few shares of American Airlines, which, uh, like most airlines, dropped like a rock. But uh, historically, when airline stocks drop like a rock, uh, they're always going to come back sooner or later. So I took a little gamble and bought some of that. Yesterday... Um, I ran again at Sugden Park. <sighs> Morning. And the, um, the beach there was closed as well. They have a, they have a Lake Avalon as part of Sugden Park and that, there's a small beach, that area was closed off. It was a very uh, difficult run. It was the warmest that it's been for me to run that. It was like 85, 86 degrees and I was, I was freaking tired, man. It was uh, one of those um, gut checks where you, <laughs> you just want to stop. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't wear a watch. I don't know how slow I ran it, but it, it was definitely uh, slow. But I endured. I don't know about you guys, but the uh, grocery situation has not really gotten any better in our area. Uh, you know, paper goods are still out of stock. Although I have heard um, repeated assurances that that's going to get better soon. So we'll see. I just think that, uh, I don't know, maybe, the, maybe uh, people are underestimating the ability of people to hoard. <laughs> you know, people could probably be filling their garages with paper goods. It wouldn't surprise me, you know. Survival of the fittest or the most greedy, <laughs> you know, depends how you look at it. I'm just crossing my fingers that there's no announcement that says, you know, COVID-19 can be uh, spread while riding electric unicycles. All hope is lost when that happens. You can guarantee it. Not running any apps, not measuring my speed, just uh, doing my thing. All right, we are now on Benita Beach Road. I'm gonna, I wanna hit to the, um, there's a gas station. As you get closer to 75, I'm gonna go there and. Drop off my empty, my now empty extra large Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I uh, protect myself from COVID-19 when it comes to drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee. 
You know, I don't douse the cup in uh, hand sanitizer or anything, so I guess I'm taking a chance, but <sighs> got to do what you got to do, I guess. Just passed, I don't know if you can see her in the distance, just passed that bicyclist, came up on her, on her left, slowed down, so I was going just about the speed she was, and, you know, because I didn't want to scare her. Because if, if you just fly by someone, especially on a wheel like this that's so silent, um, you, you could really scare them. So I, I was going about her speed, and I said, on your left, and even with me taking those precautions, she still jumped and, and uh, veered to the right a little bit. So you know, that's the reason that I really try to be considerate of others when I'm on this, uh, when, I'm, when I'm on any PEV, really. You really need to. And of course, that means that most people won't give a shit, but <laughs> you still should. Did any of you download the podcast version of the live stream from the other day? It's like, I think it's like two hours and 15 minutes. It's crazy. All I gotta do is uh, search for Dust PEV live stream, I believe is what it's named. It's on all the, well, it's on Google Play, it's on um, iTunes and Spotify, I believe are the three I have it on, so. Yeah, if you use any of those services and you want to hear the podcast, check it out. And there's also, there's a total of 30 of them on there. So you can always go back and listen to old episodes as well if it floats your boat. Just got passed one of the, uh, by one of the new Corvette C8s. You know, the new uh, rear engine mount Corvette that they just introduced. I'm not a huge fan, at least from the looks department of it. Has a, has a squared off steering wheel. Uh, the front end doesn't look bad. The back end, I don't like the way the back end looks at, at all. I think the back end looks kind of terrible. So, I mean, I've heard good things as far as the performance of it goes, but uh, visually, I'm not a huge fan. Man, this is a long-ass way to go for a trash can. Feels like I've been riding for a half an hour just to get there. Yeah, right up here is racetrack. That's where I'm going to dump it. Racetrack is my favorite place to get gasoline. Really, it's the only place, place I get gasoline. Of course, I only have to get gasoline in my Tacoma, not in my Tesla. But uh, yeah, this is my best, the best spot to do it. I like the fact that um, it's modern, has a lot of pumps, so you don't usually have to wait. And it has nice covered uh, pumps as well. So when it's hot or when it's raining like crazy during Florida summers, uh, you're fine. All right, here we go, in the middle of the road. Going to be doing a U-E. U-turn. All right. Now, reversing direction for real. Kingsong 16X and 18XL really are no slouch when it comes to speed. You know, the hardcore speed demons, uh, you know, uh, look down on them because they don't go 35 miles an hour or whatever or 41 miles an hour, but I would argue that the overwhelming majority of the EUC community does not feel the need to go that fast. And if that's the case, this is a damn nice choice. I just thought of something awful. If a shelter-in-place warning comes by by the governor of Florida, you know, where they say, like, all non-essential businesses must close, blah, blah, blah. Which I think is, is probably the way that most states are going to wind up going. But I wonder if that means that Dunkin' Donuts would have to close. I don't know. One, like, Marty, maybe you can tell me. You know, since you live in California and you have a shelter-in-place edict in place right now, is Dunkin' Donuts still open? Because, I mean, that, that's going to impact my life severely. Really? That didn't sound good. Oh, man. Just hit that that bump out there for the sore pipe. 
That's almost sounded like a bottom out. Let's make sure we have no bends on the wheel. I should have slowed down. I didn't think it would be quite as impactful as it was. I'm not seeing anything. All right, I think I'm all right. I think, let's see, does it feel okay? Uh, yeah. All right, I think we're all right. Yeah, it's ironic because just on the live stream, uh, there was someone in there that uh, did exactly that. He hit like a pothole with his wheel. Tire pressure must have been very high and uh, it bent the rim to the point where uh, he has to get another motor. So I really don't want to do that. I just got this motor. That's a question that I get fairly often in the comments of my videos. People ask me um, what tire pressure I run at. You know, keeping in mind that my weigh, you know, my riding weight is probably 190 pounds. Um, I found that I like to keep my tire pressure in the mid to upper 20s. Like I usually set at 26, 27, and that's good for me. That gives me enough bounce. You know, it cushions the ride, um, but still feels stable at high speed. I found that if I go real high in the PSI, not only is it a harsher ride, but I, I almost always seem to have more speed wobble problems at a higher PSI at higher speeds. So um, yeah, I'm good 26, 27. So those of you that were on, uh, on the live stream, you heard my story. You may or may not have heard my story about the uh, one uh, guy I had in the store, uh, an irate customer and it had to do with the uh, the kickstand that I sold him for the King Song 18L and XL. Uh, right here I have one on my on my wheel. This is the thicker model that we came up with to hopefully be more robust. So yeah, that's what it looks like. My P I don't know, I gotta stop and check the uh, tire pressure again. This is feeling a little wonky right now. All right, it still feels okay. Feels on the soft side, but not not dangerously low, so. We shall continue on. One good thing about getting out here and riding in the nice hot Florida sun is, uh, you know, sunshine kills virus. So just think of it as a big sanitizing uh, experience. I'm sanitizing, right? If I only had that software to make the selfie stick disappear. Oh well. One good thing about social distancing is it's good for uh, gearing up your WoW characters. I mean, man, my, my, my WoW characters are all gonna be uh, geared to the max by the time this is done. Great way to kill some time. All right, we are almost back to Immokalee Road. Man, I'm thirsty. Uh, I thought drinking an extra large coffee might help my thirst a little bit, but it has not. All right, let's see if we can manage this with my extreme riding. Extreme. Oh boy, this is gonna be extreme. 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 Nice. I mean, I usually keep all my extreme riding for my one wheel, but that was pretty extreme right there. And then we have um, one more extreme section coming up through this deep, soft sand. Here we go. Extreme. Extreme. Oh yeah. 18XL. Handling it with ease. Nice. Ooh. All right. We've made it. We have made it back in one piece. And I guess I feel a little, bit, a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit. Just stay there, will you? All right. Just checking the wheel one more time. Make sure I don't see any horrible out of roundness here. No, it's, it's fine. Thank goodness. COVID-19 is bad enough. I mean, who needs, who needs, uh, 
I really need to think about getting another action cam. This freaking GoPro just drives me crazy, man. It just goes into these weird states where it becomes unresponsive. Then suddenly, after holding down buttons for a long period of time, it'll actually respond. And I still attribute it all to um, when I um, crashed uh, way back when. Oh, wow. I lost the... I wonder what happened to that. There, there, you can, well, maybe you can see it. There was a little remote in here that was designed to uh, be able to fire off the GoPro remotely on the selfie stick, and evidently that fell out somewhere during the ride. Uh, I never used it, so I guess it's not a huge deal, but I guess I'm not going to be using it in the future. Oh, well. So that's going to wrap the ride up. Um, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, please think about giving the video a thumbs up or a like. Likes help. If this is the, your first time visiting the channel, or if you're just one of those 87% of people that watch my videos and, and are not subscribers, think about subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, hit the uh, notify bell on the left so you're notified of all uh, future videos. You know, we don't, want to, we don't want to miss a video. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Feel free to let me know um, how you are utilizing PEVs, you know, EUCs, one wheels. Uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic hysteria. Uh, I know I'm going to use it uh, sort of as therapy, I guess, you know? Therapy and, and, a, and the eye of the storm, maybe, is, is a good way to describe it. Oh, yeah, I shaved my head, by the way. Um, so that's all I have for you for now. Hope you have a good weekend. You might see me tomorrow. Until next time, Duffman out. Wow. So this is 100 degrees outside. I don't think that's accurate. Uh, but I bet it's in the upper 80s. Hi, guys. Um, just wanted to pass on this information. It was sent to me by a colleague who uh, has a friend that works at Dr. Negrin, which is uh, the main hospital on our island. Um, it's obviously in Spanish, so I'm just going to read it and translate it for you. Um, this is what it says. The Chinese now understand the behavior of the COVID-19 virus thanks to autopsies that they have carried out. This virus is characterized by obstructing respiratory pathways with thick mucus that solidifies and blocks the airways and lungs. So they have discovered that in order to be able to apply a medicine, you have to open and unblock these airways so that the treatment can be used to take effect. However, all of this takes a number of days. Their recommendations for what you can do to safeguard yourself are, number one, drink lots of hot liquids, coffee, soups, teas, warm water. In addition, take a sip of warm water every 20 minutes because this keeps your mouth moist and washes any, viral, any of the virus that's entered your mouth into your stomach where the gastric juices will neutralize it before it can get to the lungs. Number two, gargle with an antiseptic in warm water like vinegar or salt or lemon every day if possible. Number three, the virus attaches itself to hair and clothes. Any detergent or soap kills it, but you must take a bath or a shower when you get in from the street. Avoid sitting down anywhere and go straight to the bathroom or shower. If you cannot wash your clothes daily, hang them in direct sunlight, which also neutralizes the virus. Number four, wash metallic surfaces very carefully because the virus can remain viable on these for up to nine days. Take note and be vigilant about touching handrails and door handles, etc. I guess within your own house as well, you can um, make sure that you are keeping those clean and wiping them down regularly. Number five, don't smoke. Number six, wash your hands every 20 minutes using any soap that foams. Do this for 20 seconds and wash your hands thoroughly. 
Um, number seven, eat fruits and vegetables. Try to elevate your zinc levels, not just your vitamin C levels. Number eight, animals do not spread the virus to people. This is person-to-person -person transmission. Number nine, try to avoid getting the common flu. I guess because this just already weakens your system. And try to avoid eating and drinking cold things. And number 10, if you feel any discomfort in your throat or a sore throat coming on, attack it immediately using the above methods. The virus enters the system this way and remains for three or four days within the throat before it passes into the lungs. Good luck to everyone. Take care of yourself and pass this information along if you wish.